Right, let's try a new video for today. Um, before we move on to the next series, I want to try out the Honest trailer. By now, that's the only... I catch them every time, but this is the one that I missed. I thought, mm, I'll save for a special occasion. This is that occasion. And as a double feature, and you know, thanks for sticking with me after weeks of absence, I've decided to also do the Witcher Tree game trailer. Honest game trailer. I, know, I thought it'd be a nice little fun treat for everyone. But I'm going to move off, move away from Witcher after this, until the next series, and try something a bit different. But uh, you, I, I'm like you, I, I just skipped through the, the whole introduction thing and want to get to the actual reaction, so without further ado, here it is. Start. Based on the books you've been meaning to read, yeah, that got spun off into games you've been meaning to finish. Hmm. Comes a series that's meant to be the next Game of Thrones, <laughs> but ended up more like the next Xena Warrior Princess. That's kind of close, actually. <laughs> I ain't mad at it. The Witcher. <laughs> At least know what it, if it knows what it is. The most watched Netflix show ever. Because they changed how they count the views as you enter a sprawling fantasy world that seems pretty complicated on the surface. It boils down to a vaguely Polish Tolkien with swears. What a f***ing s***. Did your mother f***ing snowman? <laughs> when there's something strange in your bog or woods, who are you going to call? The Witcher. You don't scare me. That's too bad. Highly trained. I had faith in the witches. Who every moron in the land wants to pick a fight with for some reason. Yeah. You mutant son of a bitch. <laughs> Did not know you were a witcher. I've always wanted to play with one. Ding. Ride along with the titular witcher, Geralt, as Henry Cavill mean mugs his way through the continent, searching for the minimum number of syllables required to carry a series. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I love the beeps more than the swears. <laughs> you must have some review for me. Three words or less. <laughs> His death is tied to Siri, a baby Yoda with the power of Screamo. That's never fully explained. A girl who left the Hogwarts to Deep State Mage Pipeline to go live by her own rules. Selling boner weed. <laughs> and tagging along is the foppish bark. Everyone loves. Everyone hates. What? Julian Alfred Pankhurst. Oh, they hate. With a song or two that everyone begrudgingly admits is actually pretty good. To which I just realized. Uh, I guess even fantasy realms have to deal with their own. I get to that at the end. Oh, Valley Penis. Oh, God. That sucks. <laughs> Watch the action, drama, and complete lack of comedy unfold across a typical. Well, except for him. Where Geralt comes across a problem he doesn't want to get involved in. I want you to join my team. No. Then totally gets involved in it. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> runs through some woods boringly. Yeah. Jennifer his dress comes off. Then we switch timelines. Only you don't realize it since half the characters don't mm. age. So just enjoy an awesome sword fight. Sadly. Some uh, cool magic sometimes, I guess. Yeah. Out come Jennifer's boobs again. And at the end yeah. of the day, it turns out man was the real monster all along. It's a formula I can totally get behind. Oh, the next one's already started. So if you ever wanted a show to put images in your head, they would match the phrase porcupine wedding. Sexy hunchback. Or magical hysterectomy. Then you are super weird like us, and we finally have a show to enjoy together. Because if Peak TV was all about 12 hour movies you have to binge all at once to appreciate, then I welcome the return of shows that can say, Tonight on Witcher, meet a bog monster who's also a Oh god, I was, I was born on these things. Only on and I hated that. Star Last time on X Men. Silent but deadly. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Let's bring the coin to the bar. Let's test it out, actually. X magic, baths, beheadings. Barf. That goes. That goes out of question. Haven't seen it.
What are you, child? Talking about coin. How much coin for your Kiki more then? You seem to find coin pretty charming yourself. I have enough coin to do that. 10% of all your coin. You fled with that coin. My coin. My coin. Coin. Talking about destiny. You don't believe in destiny. Oh, I hate destiny. I despise destiny. And it happens every single episode. Destiny. 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 Yeah. Destiny can go. <laughs> and that song you finally got out of your head. Here it is again. And it's back. The Hair Witch Project. <laughs> okay, you just buried a baby at low tide, barely an inch into the sand. You might as well just chuck him into the ocean if you're not gonna put some elbow grease into it. Return from whence you came. <laughs> I'm the honest <laughs> I never really considered that, but I had other other things to consider at the time. Get over here. Oh, nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Never give up, and good luck will find you. Well, that was an interesting... Uh, they made some good points. They talk about Destiny a lot in that. And they do really... Tri Track out series story, and that, and that is a bit vaguely confusing. How there were something like talking about all its lore, but then you realize, yeah, it's pretty much just the works of Tolkien and Nordic and Polish literature, literature myth, and it's just given a veil of of post post Game of Thrones vulgarity. <laughs> A lot of people were doing that at the time with with adult fantasy. That's not wrong. With more mature elements added into fantasy novels. Um, that's probably what they brought up. They never brought back bring toss a coin to your witcher after those two two episodes. Which video? I really like that 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 song. That would have been a cool final song to leave out the series with. How amazing would they do? It would have been if, like, Better Call Saul, they release these episodes periodically, and then be before the release of the final final episode, you just look at their statistics and say, like, oh wow, everyone loved that Toss Coin song. Let's uh, let's give let's play that for the final final episode. Anyway. While we're here, let's try try that honest game trailers. Uh, haven't seen the haven't played the games myself. I'm not really good at RPGs. The closest to an RPG I've ever played is uh, The Last of Us and Bioshock and Bioshock Two, but those are the closest ones. And honestly, when I see something like System Shock Two, I'm like, whoa, okay. I don't know if I'm able to buff my stats like that, but probably wouldn't be any good at it. Uh, this probably isn't the same as an RPG. I'll check it out, but who knows? Maybe it'll convince me it's actually fun. The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the studio who sounds like they picked three random words out of a hat. <laughs> comes a franchise based on the books you never read. A sequel to the game you never played, and a follow-up to the game you heard was really, really good, and scrambled to finish before this one came out. <laughs> oh, I, know you did. I didn't even play it. Three, Wild Hunt, journey to an overwhelmingly vast and Polish land where Gerald is Geralt, Jennifer is Jennifer, and the locals are covered in charming Eastern European prison tattoos. <laughs> Become a witch, which is confusingly different from being a witch or a witch hunter, but is basically just what? a fancy orchid man. Treslayer in the world's largest city, looking for a rat shit. Jeez. Sheesh. As you haggle with their core games <laughs> over how much it'll cost to save them from unspeakable horror, uh -huh. and rob their crumbling champion's blood. Oh, absolutely. Ooh, -hoo. go to. I definitely would do that. Dangerous profession in the kingdom, right behind Bouncer trying to keep you from entering a building. A doodle do. What am I to do? Shit myself. All right. 
yeah, that he lost control of his bowels after that. Dance of death while in combat, and an impossible to control spaz when you're trying to open a chest or pick some flowers. Hmm, I thought that was a polished game. Use his finely tuned Witcher senses to locate stuff you could easily find with your normal senses, <laughs> like blood stains, dead bodies, and shoes. Just check your mini map, dude. Get ready for it's like it's like Arkham Asylum. I always turn on Detective Vision, just leave it on. Griffins, trolls, and wraiths in epic, fun-to-play battles. After hours of tedious potion, oil, and spell preparation, that's as fun as making lightsaber noises at a spreadsheet. Okay. Epic quest to save Siri. Oh, of course, you have to save her. Full of tough moral choices that will result in innocent deaths, no matter which option you pick. Heard about that story. Game of Thrones, if it were a choose your own adventure book, then completely ignore the main quest as you take on more pressing matters like escorting a goat, snowball fights, <laughs> and helping an old woman find her missing pan. Found the pan, have you? Damn it, I'm a witcher, not a witcher. <laughs> Stop wasting my time. <laughs> When you finally take on the Swedish death metal album art known as the Wild Eye, the ending so final in its endingness, gamers will unanimously agree that's totally how the game ends. But yeah, uh, we haven't beaten it either. Summon the bitches! Roll. Okay. Man, he's not just a freak, but also a super freak. <laughs> As the latest installment of this X-rated dating sim doesn't disappoint, full of beams, 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 and dangly old water hag beams. Ew. Kill it, kill it with igni. Kill it with fire. Like games, you put a game in your game so you could game while you. Game. I heard about this. Apparently, it's not going to nobody plays knows how it works. You're currently playing outside of that card game, Gameception. So dive into a franchise whose biggest flaw is having to quit your job or drop out of school to experience it all. From the real-time beard growth to the beautifully rendered areolas to the stunning vistas that will absolutely take your breath up. Oh no, I haven't saved in like four hours. <laughs> the Glitcher, Tristan Dunst, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Robert Baratheon. Seriously, where the f*** did you go? And the view. The guy with two swords, three. Helen Hunt. <laughs> he only had one sword in the series. The Roach is pretty much a teleporting demon horse. Ugh. Be sure to subscribe. Roach is awesome. When it comes to games, I've only, I only have a few. In fact, you know, hold on a second. I'm just gonna get them. I just realized you can't see that. These are the games I have. Uh, I'm not a gamer. I'm uh, not usually not a regular type anyway. I'll, I'll game casually, but I do appreciate when you know a game is actually well. You know you can play it, but also appreciate how well it's been made. For uh, for me, I think my favorite one of those probably would be Bioshock. I was terrified of it when I first played it um, because I had, I didn't do horror games. The, uh, the closest thing I have to a horror game is The Last of Us. But, you know, the horror elements sort of just threw me off, like, nope, out, I should not have played this at night. Uh, but I immediately got back to it, like, two years later, after playing Bioshock Infinite t ten times, okay, six times. But you get the... I get, I get, I get Bioshock now, and I also kind of get RPGs, but everyone just rolled my eyes like, oh, yeah, you get RPGs. By being by playing Bioshock, that's the equivalent of saying you get you get Bioshock by playing Bioshock Infinite. And even then, probably wouldn't, probably isn't my cup of tea. But I do like games with a strong narrative and a good sense of puzzles and and conflict in it. So you so Portal essentially Portal and Portal Two are probably my up there with my favorite games. Or Bioshock and Arkham City are up there with my favorite games. Um, Undertale, that's a good one as well. Really like Undertale. Uh, when it comes to the Witcher games, who knows? Maybe the, I should try out the Skyrim games. Maybe I should try out the the these Witcher games, or even the Red Dead Redemption 2. I heard those are great. I've never been 
I've sort of been overwhelmed by the notion of sandbox, game, sandbox games because there's no limit to it. It's like, you can do whatever you want. It's like, well, I, I know I can do whatever I want. I just want to be told what to do. And you get, and then you're being told, well, that's you're just like a full experience. You're just playing a point and click interactive movie at that point. But I think it's cool, the element, the little bits and pieces that come together in it. I, I probably won't get Witcher anytime too, any time soon. I mean, I can't leave the house for it and probably can't get it imported. Or I can't, I can't buy it online. Probably could, but uh, I probably don't have enough time for it. As it points out, you need you need all the time of the day, and even with uh, social distancing and self isolation, I probably still wouldn't have all the time of the day for, to complete this game. <laughs> ah, well, to each their own, and I'll do my own thing. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this little treat episode for you guys and hopefully uh, you might stick around for the next series coming out uh, please please check out the other videos I have on available and subscribe if you haven't already if you have any any input or ideas for our new series please leave a link and leave a comment down below or leave an idea on, on our Twitter page or on or my Facebook page and feel free to check out the Instagram as well Still getting used to using that. I haven't used it in a while, and quite honestly, I have, there's just so many social media stuff, I'm not used to it at all. Uh, but that's all I have for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll be the same.